factors affecting the demand function. Can you think of any factor that affects the demand function? Some we have already covered, some we have covered in the today's class, the first session we have covered. Can you think of some of the factors? Income. 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 How does it impact? What happens? Income increases, demand increases. Okay. Income increases, demand increases. So, what you are saying that we have here price on y axis and q on x axis and let us say this is the demand curve a downward sloping function and then if income goes up this is what we get. Is it true? It is true in most of the cases, but not always. Let me say there are two <coughs> kinds of goods, normal goods or normal good let us write and inferior good. When quantity demanded rises with an increase in income, then we call that good as normal good. Okay? Fine. Remember what we are saying, when we were talking about demand function, we said that everything else is held constant and we talked about change in the price of that particular item. But hear me what I am saying. Now, I am saying the price of that item is fixed and income is changing. So, of course, if income is changing what would happen? We would not get a movement along the curve, but we will get shift in the curve. And there are two types of shift possible. One that quantity demanded at the same price would go up or go down or would remain fixed. You can say that is another type, but let us consider these two either it goes up or it goes down. <coughs> so, when quantity demanded goes up at the same at, at the same price with an increase in income, then we call that good as normal good. Okay. When quantity demanded at the same price decreases as your income goes up, then that good is called inferior good for yourself. Can you give me any example? Of normal good and inferior good? When let me say again it depends on your income level okay? and again it depends on parameters. So, I am just creating a case that may not be always true, but this particular case it illustrate the inferior good in the market. Let us say you, you are a very poor person probably you spend a significant proportion of your income on potato. Okay, you buy potato. As your income goes up, you become capable of buying some meat. So, as your income would go up, your consumption of potato would decrease. Okay? So, in this case, potato is clearly an inferior good, but that is a possibility that your income goes up and you like potato so much that your consumption for potato goes up. In this case, if this is the case, then potato would not be an inferior good for yourself. Okay? Fine? It is clear? Okay. And normal good is simple that you know more income you have, more meat you will buy. So, income definitely affects your demand. So, one factor is income. How about the second factor? So, income we discussed today, even before we started discussing about factors affecting the demand function. So, think about it, we discuss some other factors also in course of discussing demand function. Alternative. This is for, let us say here income goes up, then this is the case of normal good, availability of
fine okay the second one is availability of alternative. prices of substitutes and complement so let's say the price of a substitute goes up what will happen to the demand for good x increase hmm? increase so it will increase and if y is complement it will decrease. It is clear? Just to understand what we are talking about that when price let us say we earlier we learned that tea and coffee are Substitute. substitutes. Okay? So, price of coffee goes up. Now, remember we are not talking about individual demand, we are talking about market demand. So, price of coffee goes up more and more people would opt for tea at the same price. So, at the same price quantity demanded for T would go up. So, price the increase increase in price of coffee would shift the demand curve for T rightward. Okay? Fine. So, substitute how about for complement that you can generate on your own okay? that is part of the homework that what happens when the price of a complement goes up. Any other factor? So, what we have discussed income, prices of substitute and complement. <coughs> Any other thing? Diminishing value we already right now remember we are talking about effect, effects on demand. demand function or demand curve. Value you know when we talk about change in price of that good we get movement along the curve. Right now we are not talking about movement along the curve, we are talking about change in demand function. It means we are talking about shift in demand function, the factors <coughs> which would cause demand function to shift and we have figured out income as well as Price. complement and substitute prices. What else? Think about. Let us say we are talking about demand for today. Let us say we are talking about quantity demanded of petrol today in the market. If we expect that government of India is going to increase petrol prices by tomorrow, what do you think? What would be the what would happen to the demand function today? Increase. Increase. It would increase. So, your expectation about future also impacts your demand function okay fine okay so expectation is also quite important what else or rather not just preferences change in preferences although in later chapters I would say that preferences would not change, but right now that is again an assumption. I told you right in the beginning that we make lot of assumptions in order to learn something about complex world. So, later on we will assume that preferences do not change over the period, but we all know that preferences today I may like something tomorrow I may not like and typically it happens in context of fashion goods. Okay. If something is in fashion today, the demand is <coughs> quite high, it goes out of the fashion, demand decreases. So, change in preferences. And okay. last or you can also think of more, but the last one that I am going to discuss is number of buyers. What 
one thing also you should notice that all other factors above I described number of buyers they impact not only market demand but they also impact individual demand but here now we are talking about number of buyers it doesn't impact individual demand it impacts market demand so if we have more and more people in the market buying the same good what would happen to the demand curve as number increases demand would demand increase value. so it would shift it would shift again rightward let's say n is the number as n increases is it clear so that brings you know uh, closer to the concept of at least we have described the concept required to understand demand schedule in adequate detail. Now, let us move to supply. Any question you have about demand? Uh, so, just one question, if, ah. li li like we can discuss uh, about improvement in technology, right? like uh, in, in, if, if one technology improves, like uh, say a processor technology. That improves. will change in production function. So, that would that that would also do affect the demand function right like we will see let me let me understand your question clearly what you are saying that if for some reason technology Im improves in one particular sector would it impact our demand it sometimes it does impact our demand but through a particular channel that we have already described probably pro probably it changes our preferences for one example, earlier you did not have LCD TV, you had CRT TVs, big TVs. Okay? You, your demand for LCD TV in other words was equal to equivalent to 0, but because of introduction of LCD you learned about it okay? and your, now you, you incorporated it in your tests, in your preferences okay? and of course now there is a huge demand for LCD TV. So, what is basically happening? It impacts your demand, but that we already took care of it here. Change in preferences. Sometimes technology brings change in preferences, but if you just say because of change in technology, demand does not change. We will learn later on, even just now, that change in technology brings change in supply, not change in demand. If it brings change in demand through change in preferences, your test changes over time because you see new technology in the market. Okay? But demand is changing not because of change in technology, but change in your preferences. That is the way we will take it. Sir, change in technology, does it mean that we are producing same good by a efficient technology or so like you told LCD TV and a big TV. So, sir, if change in technology, then we will consider that big TV is only produced with different technology. See, so again we are using this term technology vaguely, uh, typically you know what you are saying, typically when we say technology here, what we mean is that the same thing can be produced by better technology, better technology. and in that case it does not affect, affect demand, demand at all, yes, sir. it does not affect demand at all. Yes, sir. Okay? So, that is what I said. So, if you just say technology, it does not affect the demand. But if it changes your preferences somehow, then it may or may not affect your demand function.